Hello friends, this video is going to cover the basics of assembly language. That is, how to output data, how to input data, the subroutines or procedures in assembly language, the moving of data into registers, and you know, a lot more. So stick around, and as usual, as you know, let's simplify. So with assembly language, what you're going to do that you're going to need to open our terminal, that's on Windows, which will be command prompt. But we need to run the assembly language on Linux. So I have a virtual machine for Linux. So I'm going to type in here bash to get my Linux distributor, which is Ubuntu. Now I'm going to navigate to an appropriate place on my machine, which is my desktop. So I see CD desktop. And on my desktop, I'm going to create a file called learning.asm. Now this learning.asm, when I create it inside this learning.asm, that is where I'm going to write my code for assembly. So after creating the file, I'll go nano and then I open it. So learning.asm. So I open it here. Now what this code does is that it prints hello world, as you can see over here, hello world. But then let's delve into how this code actually works. So you can see that the code is actually divided into two sections. We have the data section and the text section. The data section actually belongs to you, the programmer, for you to declare and then initialize certain variables. And the text section is the actual code. That is the main entry point of your code, that is the text section section. Section text. That is where the main code is going to run. So at the data part, what you're going to do here is that we created a variable called text. And then inside the text, we created a space in the text called data bytes. Now this data byte is going to create a space for us. Then inside that data byte, which is going to be a text, we are going to store hello world inside that text. And then after that, we are going to use 10. 10 means that move to the next line. Now at the section dot text part, that's where the whole code actually runs. That is the entry point. So it's a global start. We are starting the whole program. So global. Now we create another label called start. Now we are about to start the program. So we are letting the kernel that now we are starting. As you can see here. The start is divided into two sections. We have the system right part, which is here. And then we have the system exit part, which is also this side. So at the system start, sorry, at this part with the system right, the right has an ID of one. So move into the register, the value one, rex. So the register rex will contain the value one. That is the ID for system right. Now at the system, what are we doing? We are outputting something. So at the RDI, we are using also one. One is for output. 0 is for input, 1 is for output, and then 2 is for error. You have to keep that in mind. Then RSI, what are we outputting? We are outputting text. This text here, you can see that we define text on top here. That the, inside this text, we have the hello world. So we are displaying hello world, which is represented by text. Hello world. Now, how many characters are in the text hello world? So you count them from all the characters within the quotation marks so from the space one two three all of them then you're going to get 16 characters then after that you move to the next line say sys core so now you are ending the system right by with with the sys core so you are telling the kernel that now you are done writing now when you are done writing now you have to exit right come out you are you are done writing so how to, how do you exit you exit by using the system exit so that one to the id for the system exit is 60. So you move the value 60 into the register rex so move rx then 60 then rdi is going to be zero right then says call now you are ending the whole thing now let's 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 run this let's run this to see whether it's going to print out the hello world so this is just a simple code to print hello world so control x now if you run it you run it by typing in this code so you run let me get you the code it's okay so I have so many commands here. So you run it by using nasm f then l64. That's we are using 64 bit. The learning.asm. That is the name of the file we created. Then, then dash o, then learning.o. What this means is that we are converting the learning.asm file that we created. We are converting it into an object file. Then after that, we are going to use a linker to convert it from an object file to an executable file before we can actually look at the file. So there's a whole tree for it. So first, from the ASM file to an object file to an executable file. So this is the command. Let me show you. This is the command to convert it from. So when you get the executable file, 
the, the object file now you use this linker ld to convert it to an executable file so this learning here is the execute executable file then now that you have converted to an executable file now you can actually open it so to open it you use dot slash the right learning right so you can see we have hello world now the next thing we are going to do is learn how to input and output data using the subroutines so again we are going to create a file called my learning just to make it different so touch my learning dot asm and then when you create now you enter it right so you go to nano my learning dot asm now you enter it now inside my learning dot asm you can see that i have three sections i have the data section the bss section and the text section right okay so at the data section i want to output or i want to display what's your name and again i want to display hello right so i created a text called text one and i created a define a byte a byte like a container i'm defining a space a, a space for it and inside that space i am putting what is your name and then i'm, I'm giving it a name text one so the text one will display what is your name then the next one is that i have created another one called text two and I created a space for it. I have defined a byte for it or a data byte for it called hello. And I'll keep the hello also over there called text two. Now you can see we have the BSS over here, another section called dot BSS. Now the dot BSS is for reserving of data, right? So if you want to block starting symbol, so I'm going to create a block. Now I'm starting it. Now inside I have created a variable called name. And I say RESB, that is reserve byte. Now I'm reserving the byte. Now the space I am reserving is 20, right? So this does BSS, that's the block starting symbol. What is that? It reserves a, a space for future use, a space that you can keep data for future use. So we we'll come back to the name later. So you can see I said, what is your name? Hello, then I'll add your name. So because I don't know the user's name right now, I'm keeping a space, I'm creating a space, a by space of 20 where I'll keep the user's name, right? Now I'll come to the main code. So I section dot section dot text. Now global. So I'm setting the main code here. So I'm going to say call print text one. So I'm going to call this one. What is what is your name? Then I say call get name. Now I get the name. Now when I get the name, I'm going to print text two. What is hello? Then I'll add a person's name to it. So I call print name. So I'll add a user's name. Hello Dennis. Hello Equia. Hello Miriam. Hello this person. Hello that person. Right? Then from there and the start part so this this call you see here they are all subroutines or they are procedures or functions so i'm calling them if i am calling it then it means that i have defined them somewhere so if you can see down here what you can see over here is that i have called them here and i have my assist exist so i've called these functions here and i have my assist exist we talked about assist exit already that when you go the id for exit is 60 then we have the zero then since code that will end our code now let's go to the definitions for these functions that i have called here what are their main definitions so their main definitions here for print text one so text one is assist right so its id is one then i am outputting data which is also one so for rsi i said it should print what text one we know what text one is text one is what we know that text one the value for text one is what is your name so it will print there what is your name for print text also what is your name now we count the characters in the quotation mark for them what is your name when you count them they come and put their value down here you come and put their value here you put the value over here at 90 so move rdx then you put the value there 90 so you count the characters in the text one and you put it over here then you say sys call you end it you end the sys right you end everything there then you say ret the ret means retain now it is retaining it so when it retains then we can call it here as print text one so that's why we are calling it over here the next one is get name now get name is an input right because the user has to input the name and we know that it is i o e i for input o for output then e for error so zero one two zero for input so for get name is going to be zero so move rs the the, the id for it is going to be zero then rdi2 because you are inputting data it's also going to be zero for input then what are we inputting we are inputting the name the person's name then the rds is what space did we reserve for the person's name 
if you look at the top, from the top, we reserve 20. We reserve 20 for the person's name, right? If you go to the top here, they reserve the name, we reserve 20 bytes for it. That's why when you go to the guest name, when you go to the guest name down there, we are going to see that we are reserving that name, the name we gave it, the space was 20. So we say six call and then return. That is right. So we can call, we can call it over there. So from there we call it, right? So we call the get name over there. Now the next one is the print text two. Text two is the hello world. Sorry, the print, the text two is the hello. So the same thing we use this right to print it here. So it's this right down here. Why my 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 text editor is not favoring me today? So this right, this right over here. So we can see for get name also. So for the get name, it is as I said, it's an input. So zero zero and then the size is twenty. Then print text two. Text two is output. It is printing out something. So the ID for the RX is going to be one. Then we are outputting so one. Then the text two is hello. Then the size of it is seven. If you count all the characters in the quotation marks in the hello, you can count including the spaces. You are going to get seven. Then six call then return. Then the last thing here is going to be the print name which is the last one again we are printing so the id for the sys right is going to be one and then we are going to be outputting so one then what are we outputting? outputting the name the name remember we have already defined what the name is right the name at our dss we reserve byte for the name then what space did we give to the what what space did we reserve we reserve 20 bytes so you put that 20 over here then sys call then return Right, so it's quite very, 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 very simple when you simplify it. So you have all of them using sys right and then sys exit. So when you go to the top, so at the top here you can see from the section to the text to the dot bss, then to the main code and then to all the subroutines that we use. So the subroutines are like functions that you call inside your code. So from here, let's run it to to print out some names over here. So control x, I save it. Did I make any modifications? I am. Um, uh, let me see. All right. So from here, what we do is that we have to run the code. To run it, we have to run a certain commands together. So let me get. I've run it before. So we are going to run nasim. So you run this command nasim dash f sixty four. Then the name of the file my learning dot asm. Then you are converting it from the file to an object file. So after you convert it to an object file, then you use the linker. To convert it to you use the linker to convert it to an executable file. So I want to get the linker. Uh, so you, you use the linker, which is LD, then the name of the file, the object file, then you convert it to an executable file from here. Alright, so now that you have the executable, which is the my learning, now you can actually open the my learning. So to open it, we we'll use this command dot forward slash my learning, then you open it. So when I type, you can see that it says, What is your name? So you can say, My name is subscribe now. Right? So when you punch enter on the keyboard, you say, Hello, subscribe now. So it is telling you to subscribe now because you have come to the end of the video using outputs, inputs, subroutines in our code in assembly, assembly language. So these are just, just the basis of assembly language. If you have any questions, be sure to leave them in the comment section. And as you already know, until next time, apart here.